get to the really fun part, which is noise. Let me just create a new comp and let me create a new solid and apply aura and I have a basic basic like wave system here. Uh, so let me go ahead and actually supply noise so that you know what it's like. So it's just every, like everything has a start and start size and end size, uh, start color and color, basically a color gradient and a start uh, thickness and thickness. There's also a start noise and end noise amplitudes. So you have this noisy looking thing. And now you can choose to apply noise along the path, which is it applies uh, through the shape of each wave, or you can just choose to apply just the vertices so that only the vertex points, uh, say in a mask or a, a polygon, are affected, not the, uh, not the shape throughout the whole path. Uh, and now you can... Uh, add a little bit of variation if you want uh, so that each uh, wave will have a separate noise path internally and uh, let's just crank this up and now let's increase the frequency to about uh, really high for example like 30. Now this is looking pretty good so far uh, right now the waves are traveling a little slow so let's crank this up to like 400 and now you have this nice wave uh, animation here uh, let me run through it so you know what I'm talking about the RAM preview looks like so you have an idea so you can see even with just basic fiddling with the noise you can create really cool uh, animations with this So all of this, uh, this is just playing no noise to the vertices and you could go even more dense if you want. You could go like 50 and maybe decrease the variation to one so that it's, it looks really dense if you want. Uh, you can play with a lot of different settings. And by default, um, the rendering is, is gonna be noisy. This is just how it's designed. Uh, if you if you want to decrease the noise, you can change the render quality to like uh, 32 or 50 or 60. The higher this is, the uh, less noisy the renders will be. But I think the noise kind of adds to the effect a little, and especially at these super high dense frequencies, the noise kind of brings out a more different kind of looks more grainy, brings more character in my opinion, but you can crank this quality as high as possible and um, get much smoother results for your liking. And so this is uh, if you apply the noise along vertices, for example, but what if you want to apply it along, pa along paths? Um, it just creates a very really different result, uh, for example. So let's go ahead and click reset. So that everything is at the SMT that cast do. So that Okay, so we have a basic wave system here. And let me uh, set it to make sure it's set it to path and set the start amplitude to five hundred. Now you see the noise is applied throughout the path, not just the the vertices of the shape. So uh, see that it's a lot more noisy uh, it can be very organic if you play with it right um, for example let me set this really high like uh, around 
FD, for example, have this really uh, like opaque, a really uh, dense structure here. Um, let's a little bit of fade out so it fade, fades in more naturally, and a little bit more fade in, maybe three. And let's actually have a camera. So I just want to show the oops, 3D That's of it. And let's turn off the depth of field so that it renders faster. to noise and add just a little bit of variation so that the noise varies and maybe just a bit of illusion so that the noise changes over time so it's not just uh, kind of stagnant and let's just crank up the variation just a bit so not too much just a little bit high and you see it's already looking it's very really organic kind of structure and now let's increase the time factor so that everything happens a little faster so that the time moves a little faster there's a time factor here uh, if you if you change it uh, the internal time within the effect moves uh, faster by this factor now let's uh, have a run preview and see how it looks how the frame preview looks. As you can see, uh, it looks very uh, organic and it has a kind of almost like a fluid type of motion. And yeah, this is you can do a lot of cool things just with the just by playing with the noise here and. This is uh, one aspect that I think uh, the original radio waves didn't have. Uh, noise actually makes it look very nice, especially with high frequency waves like this. Um, this is a basic overview of noise. You, you have a lot more settings here in the wave settings and everything. And you can also, uh, instead of having uh, such high frequency and line render mode you can switch to surface and go back to a lower frequency like 20 kind of gives you that look but it's a lot more flat uh, so it's it's really up to your individual choice but I personally like the lines because it creates like a dense fluid kind of look to it and this is how uh, the noise works in our...